Hey guys, it's your boy here, uh, Death Cookie 115. Well, actually, it'd be 115, then Death Cookie 115 was my old name, or whatever. Anyways, yeah, here it is. It's your favorite YouTube. No, your. I'm not. I don't upload frequently. I'm probably not your favorite. What am I? What, what am I to you? Do you even care about me? Do I even care about my channel? Why am I uploading this? Oh yeah, I'm uploading it because I want to be relevant to what's going on right now on YouTube. That's how you get big, right? You got to be relevant. You got to be right away on the facts of what, 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 what's going on. So uh, as you can see right now, I'm uploading some quality gameplay of this game. Uh, but don't worry about the gameplay because uh, I'm garbage at, at it like I am at well living. I'm garbage at living. That's just... Why do I exist? Anyways, so on YouTube, uh, people, you can type in PewDiePie, you'll get a bunch of things, but he did something that's even crazier than his, you know, anti-Semitic stuff, or his, uh, well, everything he does nowadays. Your boy here dropped the hard R. What a fucking nigger. Jeez, oh my god, what the fuck? Sorry, but what the fuck? Now, uh, see, uh, I don't really. Let's, let's let's just get right into it. I mean, like, come on, like, honestly, like, what, what, what even is this? Like, come on, what, what is this? Did you, did did you really have to drop the hard R? Like, is that really necessary? Like, come on now, like, is, is was that really necessary? Like, did you have nothing else to say on your list of insults? Was that the top of the list that you just had to throw out the hard R? Like, oh, I mean, you didn't have to be racist, come on. I mean, on record, he said, he said, he, he said the, you know, nigga. He said nigga before. I could have said that. Or he could have said something in fucking Swedish. Or whatever other languages he fucking knows. Something that, you know, you could have said it and everyone's like, ha ha ha. That's funny. I don't understand what he just said, but I bet it's funny. But no, he had to drop the hard R. See, the thing is, my gripe, one, I don't, the word is just, like, there's no reason for it. Like, no one has to say it. Like, fucking, I, uh, I go online and it just, it gets thrown around so much like it's a fucking meme. There's no reason for the word anyways. Even, like, in my real life, it just gets thrown around so much. It's it doesn't need a, a reason, but see PewDiePie, he's kind of a he's a shining example of YouTube, or he was years ago. He was he was the the, the boy on this site. Everyone wanted the fucking be. They wanted to whip out their dicks and just I want to be like I want to be like PewDiePie. <laughs> Sorry, they wanted to be like him, and he has like 50 million plus subscribers and a fraction, a large fraction of that watches his content, and an even bigger fraction of that are impressionable little kids. And if anyone knows impressionable little kids, they like to follow the trend. And so him just saying the hard R is just going to spurt even more controversy. And, it, and it's just YouTube has this thing. You see, anytime one of their, their big children stars come out and do a line of coke or say something that's very racy or vulgar, that just shines a bad light on them. Then they decide to go into their closet, their deep, dark, secrets closet, and put on their BDSM gear. And they just go in a huge, child-friendly craze and say, you know what? You can't, you can't do this. And they strap us up. Well, not us, because I'm not, I'm not important. But they strap, they strap up those the big, big YouTubers up in their uh, harnesses, and they don't give them a safety word. And they just lose so much with these guidelines, these new strict rules and guidelines. Because fuckheads like this boy. What a fucking nigger. Has to, has to go on and just just say the hard R. Like what? Why? Like why? I mean like come on, PewDiePie. Seriously. You were the chosen one. It was said that you would destroy this and not join them. Bring balance to the force. Not leave it in darkness. I mean you were at some point. And you just stupid shit like this constantly. I I don't understand. I mean, why would you do that? Why would he do that? Legit, why would he do that? Like, yeah, why would you legitimately do that? I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe you don't care. Maybe you just, you don't care. The thing is, though, it's not a, it's not a slip of the tongue. 
This isn't a slip of the tongue. This isn't like, oh, hey, whoops, I accidentally said fuck. Like, I don't go to, go to the grocery store. I pull out my wallet, and I don't have money, and I'm like, oh, nigger. I don't have money. Like, uh, that's, not, that's not just something that happens. You don't, you don't just say the hard R like a slip of the tongue. It's, it's not just one of those swear words that just kind of happen because, oh, there it is. This is one of the words you have to actively say that it just rolls off the tongue. It's not something that just comes to your mind right away and in the spur of the moment. But hey, I'm sure p plenty of people will come to his defense and be like, uh, 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 crum Crumster and Udobs and other Utubers, they've, they've said the, the hard R and, and other worst words before. Yeah, but those guys also got their due. They said it and they got, they got what was coming to them. I mean, fucking Keemstar is not even relevant anymore. Idubs dropped off the face of the YouTube. Fucking Tano um, 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 Magwai, fucking, who is she now? Like, come on. A lot of people who, who go on and say these hard R's or other racial slurs, they diss a fucking peer because that's that's what you get. For better or for worse. I mean, honestly. But you're, you're probably asking, who are you to be focusing on this drama? Oh, baby, all I am is just a simple little YouTuber who wants some simple exposure to become a big boy. I mean, um, uh, what? <clears throat> Anyways, it's, it's shit like this that made Disney and YouTube drop and distance themselves away from PewDiePie because he's just had quite a few times on the record where he's done some really, uh, sketchy things that make people wonder if he's really that, uh, that good boy he is. See, PewDiePie is that family member that you that everyone everyone has a family member where if they grow up at first they have potential it's like oh yeah you're you have you, you can do things and maybe they do drugs like once or twice with their friends next thing you know they're off fucking selling their car and stealing from family to support their crack addiction or their coke addiction or heroin addiction or whatever fucking addiction it is that they have and uh, the, the family the parents of that kid they kind of like they have one picture of them and that was when they're like 11 or 12 when they were still a good boy and every other picture is fucking hidden in a box in the basement because that kid is dead to them now because they grew up to be a bad apple. That's what Peter Pie is. He's literally that kid now. He's just he's just a bad apple. He's just becoming just a bad apple. And the thing is, everyone's still going to ride his fucking dick anyways because they grew up with him. Some people grew up with him and they're like, oh, well, he's not that bad. So, whatever. And in my opinion, honestly, I feel like this is just one of those things that just shouldn't have happened. I mean, it, it did happen. And I'm just here for the I'm just here for the exposure, baby. Simple as that, dude. That's how you get big on the YouTubes, dude. You gotta hit that drama right away, dude. Gotta get that drama money. But <clears throat> maybe he should have reevaluated himself as a person. Like, in all honesty, he had lots of potential to become something even bigger than what he is. And sooner or later, he's gonna get fucking slapped harder than before, and he's gonna lose everything he had. Fame, fortune-wise, because of stupid shit like this, it will catch up to him. It will. I guarantee it to you. It happens to every single person out there in the world. Sooner or later, you get yours. So, either reevaluate yourself, or you're gonna get yours. But, whatever. I'm here for the meme. I'm, I'm here I'm here for the quality, uh... The quality meme. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, boys. Hope you enjoyed this shit video. Uh, if, uh, for any of my old-time subscribers... Follow me on Twitter. It should it's in the description and it's on the screen if I'm if I remember and I'm not a lazy piece of shit. Uh for my rare tweets, because I tweet there sometimes, you know, I'm you know not depressed or whatever. Also you can follow me on Twitch, that's actually where I'm I'm more active than on, on this platform. I do streams there on a somewhat scheduled basis. So yeah, don't ever don't don't ever subscribe to this channel. Like don't don't subscribe to me on YouTube. Don't ever, like don't. Just fucking don't. If you subscribe to me on YouTube, like, if you hit the subscribe button, but, uh, I'm sorry my words, I think, I'm, I think I've had too much liquor, even though I'm, like, 12. If you subscribe to me on YouTube, it'll give my dad a notification on his email, and he will literally come into my room, and he'll beat me. He'll beat me harder than I beat my meat on a depression-filled prom night, uh, because no one wanted to go with me. So, please, don't subscribe to me on here. I don't want to get beat again.